What is the best browser to use for internet privacy? Stay tuned. I'm going to have to rephrase this question to frame my answer more specifically. Instead, I will ask, what is the best browser to use to stop Facebook and Google from invading my privacy? Aside from browsers, I will give you additional tips to mitigate Facebook spying at the end of this video, so make sure to catch that. Both Facebook and Google make extensive use of browser fingerprinting, which as I explained in the browser fingerprinting video, allows them to track your device on the internet. Think of this as a device fingerprint. These two companies are unique as well because they have an infrastructure that gives them a little spyware capability inside just about every website. In the case of Facebook, it's the Facebook like button. This is actually just a tiny facebook.com website running inside every website that has a Facebook like button. The official HTML term is an iframe. It's just a little tiny embedded website. A browser fingerprint will allow Facebook to know that you're John Smith on Facebook with your iPhone 10, but it saw you on myguns.com and pantysrs.com. Thus, it can harvest your internet browsing history and store it on Facebook where it can never be deleted. Google does the same thing using another tiny website embedded in just about every website and it is called Google Analytics. Everyone wants analytics so they can track traffic on their websites and also to monetize. But that also means that Google can easily identify all websites that you visit. Fortunately, Google allows you to remove this website history and you can stop it from collecting this data in Google Activity Controls. Now, I have no idea if they actually store your movements anyway, in spite of you not seeing it on your Google history. But for now, I will give them the benefit of the doubt. But in Facebook's case, it is clear from the terms of service that they keep the data and they will continue to keep it forever. So let's come up with a strategy to control these two data-stealing giants. Other entities don't have the kind of infrastructure to track you all over the internet, so we will not focus on them, and they can be blocked by other means. Here's the specific answer that you're waiting for. I recommend that you install many browsers on your computer or phone, at least three browsers. I recommend that you isolate Facebook and Google into their own browsers. Dedicate one of the browsers for use only with Facebook. I suggest using the Brave browser for Facebook. You should dedicate Chrome only for Google and Google properties like YouTube, etc. Then you can use a third browser for everything else, for example, Firefox or Safari. I call this technique browser isolation. Let me tell you what this will do. Facebook will be unable to do cross-site browser fingerprinting since you are using different browsers. It won't be able to match your device ID, thus your comings and goings on the internet will not be captured for storage inside Facebook's database. I came up with the term browser isolation three years ago. I've been using this technique for a while even though browser fingerprinting was made known only two years ago. So something instinctively told me that I couldn't trust a browser like Chrome to protect my privacy. For Facebook, I recommended the Brave browser, which you can download on your phone or on a computer. It has some cookie and ad blocking capability, which is perfect for reining in Zuckerberg's moves. Now, why do I recommend Chrome for YouTube and other Google properties? Well, Chrome is owned by Google, so Chrome is tracking you already anyway. By limiting Chrome to Google properties, they're not getting more data than they already have or get. Let's use Firefox as your third browser. Never log into Google on that browser. Never log into Facebook on that browser. 
This way, the AI searching for browser fingerprints will think that Firefox activities is a different user than the person on Chrome and on Brave. Aside from Chrome, you can pick other browsers that are different than the ones I use in, in this example. The only point is to use different browsers. If you want to use Safari, Edge, and DuckDuckGo browser instead, that's fine but save your favorite browser for something other than Facebook. Here are other tips to protect you from the Facebook tracking. I can't stop Facebook from spying on you completely. This may just block 50% of the data. The best answer is still to leave Facebook, but if you choose to stay, this will help you maintain some privacy. Do not use the Facebook app. The Facebook app will track your location even if your location settings are turned off. Facebook will record your MAC address and the MAC addresses of computers near you. This is like a serial number. Extremely invasive stuff. They can only do this on the app. The browser does not give out this information. But for convenience, you can make the browser behave like an app by sharing the website to your phone's home screen. I do this with websites like Amazon, so it's one click away on my phone. Warning, people. Facebook Messenger is Facebook, so I can't help you if you choose to install Facebook Messenger. Remember, these apps know your real name and your location, so they are extra dangerous. In combination with Instagram and WhatsApp, they can match the metadata on a browser fingerprint to track you even more. Also, do not upload photos from your phone directly to Facebook and Instagram since the EXIF EXIF metadata will reveal your location and match your identity. Use apps that strip away the metadata from your photos first. My app Brax.me is an example of that. Upload your photos to Brax.me and then you can download it for sharing into social media. The EXIF or EXIF data is stripped off. Google is at least showing responsibility and has responded to the EU's data privacy regulation with tools that allow us to remove history when we feel like we're being spied on. On the surface, this is good news, but I will keep an eye on this. Please subscribe to my channel if this stuff is interesting and hit that notification bell so you get informed of my new videos.